Hello guys and welcome to a new video on winning products. For those of you who are watching this video for the first time and stumbling upon our channel for the first time, I welcome you. My name is Enrique and we do this type of videos every single week. The reason we do this is to show you guys what we analyze and also to show you guys different winning products, but I want to make this video nice, simple, and quick. So first of all, I'll be finding products or we normally find products on eBay as a marketplace and we source them on AliExpress. This is a Chinese website. Reason being is that we can find the same exact products being sold on eBay, like these ones right here, and we find them for a super low price on AliExpress. And I'll explain a little bit more of why I use AliExpress as my main sourcing website at the beginning. So the first thing I want to go ahead and do is show you guys where you can access our great tool. So we have a DSM tool calculator and just go ahead and simply put dsmtool.com slash calculator. This is all going to be on the description down below. But here, if when you arrive to this landing page, just cl simply click on get a copy. There you'll be directed to this page right here. And this is very straightforward, very simple. So what we did here is we created this uh, facade where we already have all the formulas ready for you. All you need to do is simply fill the blanks here. For example, uh, we put on the eBay price of the product that we found. We place the cost of the product on our sourcing website. In this case would be AliExpress, remember? And lastly, we put down the shipping cost of the shipping method chosen. Uh, over here is the number of sales made on eBay just to simply get you a, or at least have a bigger picture on the potential sales and potential earnings you'll have. But most importantly, we want to figure out what is the profit per sale, right? Also, we have the fees. So we calculate fees already. The, uh, this is based on the eBay managed payments. I just want you to quickly know that it could be between between 12.15 to 12.55 percent. Uh, that would be the eBay selling fees uh, for the most of or the majority of categories you want to sell on eBay. All right. So let's get let's dive into to to business right here. Just go to this tab called AliExpress. Right. So here we have 10 different winning products, right? Each item with the profits made per sale, uh, how many sales were made in the past 30 days, total profits in the past 30 days, and total amount of sales overall, along with the profits. So as you can see, this listing of 10 items have made around $1,707. Just keep in mind, obviously, that, that I gathered all these products from various different sellers all drop shippers by the way and I'll explain how I figure that out but uh, so this number obviously is not an exact number what we really we really want to figure out is how much profit per sale we can get out of the deal if we sell the same item at a lower price so at this point what we want to be is be cheaper than our competition. That is the main giveaway here. So before we start, uh, if you're gonna use this route, if you're going to choose AliExpress like I do as your main sourcing website, uh, this is going to be in the description down below. Just go ahead and install this Chrome extension called Ali Tools. It's gonna help you a lot. I'll, again, I'm gonna quickly go over and show you um, how I use it. Uh, so let's dive into it. Okay, so let me just use this first product for example. I'm not going to review all the products. You can review that yourself by simply going to the website. This video is only going to focus on what matters. So here I will show you what I analyzed before deciding if I want to really use this product. So normally I go ahead and I I get the eBay popularity sort that is I want to script I'm going to place it in the description down below that is going to help me sort items by different categories from the most popular to the least popular ones and I need to determine which of those items are, or listings are being offered by other drop shippers and I'll explain how I kind of noticed that so the first thing I want you guys to know is well first you go ahead and check out um, the price in this case this seller has it on um, pound sterling but obviously I went ahead and converted this pound sterling to USD because then we'll sell it into the USD. Uh, this is around 20, maybe $26. But anyway, what you do is just go ahead and put GBD. Uh, there you go to USD and just place down the price that you found. Let's see 18, 17. And there you go. Sorry. And there you go. So it's $24.87. Okay, just keep that in mind. Anyway, 
So the first, that's the first step. Second step I normally would advise you guys to do is check out how many sales the item has made so far. So you want to sell a product that is actually getting some demand at the moment. This is what we call a hot potato product. That means this means that you list it and you sell it immediately. People are constantly buying it. So we recommend you guys to always list products that have at least three to four sales made in the past 30 days, especially if you are a drop shipper. Keep in mind that you can always list different products. You can uh, go ahead and do that. But in this case, just try to find products that have enough sales made. So just click on this link right here and you'll be taken to the transaction table. Now this transaction table, as you guys can see, uh, you can see the user ID that is not very relevant. Variation could be relevant. Uh, the purchase price, right? That's fine. The quantity that was bought by the buyer and the date of purchase. So this is the first thing you want to notice and kind of see uh, when, was, when was the last time an item was purchased and how many times during the month has this item been purchased. So 18th of September, we have two items purchased by different uh, clients or buyers. So we got two and then we got three and then we got four, right? So we got four and five because it, right now this is being recorded on uh, August 20, I'm sorry, um, September 24th. So yeah, so we got five different products uh, sold by this seller or this dropshipper in the past month. Okay, that's the second thing. The third thing I want you guys to quickly see is if you, in case you're using AliExpress, uh, as your main sourcing website and you want to figure out if this guy or girl is doing the same thing as a dropshipper, just quickly go ahead and see where the item is located. So as you guys can see, the item's location is from China. So this person is shipping products from China and importing them all the way into the US, right? All right, or any, any other place around the world where he is or she is selling, you can see the ex exclusions here. That's, depend, that's totally upon your business policies uh, and where you want to ship out, right? So that is the, the third thing I want you guys to see. Now, how do I quickly know if this is a, per, a drop shipper or not? Well, where it says seller's information, where you have the store's name, you can see here that this person has 429 feedback rating. Based upon my experience, normally any seller that has over 5,000 feedback rate that normally is a normal regular seller that holds inventory. Just keep in mind that drop shipping is you basically finding a good product and then sourcing that same item elsewhere and then reselling it at your price. That's it. You don't hold inventory. You never get to see the product physically or you don't even have a digital inventory whatsoever, right? So it is basically in some, so what you do is you source the same item, you place it in your store, somebody purchases that item for you at your price and then you go ahead and place the order on your sourcing website and then just send that all the way to your client. That is basically drop shipping. So you want to compete against other drop shippers doing the same thing. That way you have more chances to get to gain sales and gain visibility, right? Um, so anyway, click on where it, on where it says the, the seller's information. And another thing I want you guys to note is over here where this is the seller's location. Um, if you see any seller that is on the on the European continent, right? UK, Greece, Morocco, Lithuania, any place around or inside, sorry, Europe, normally they would be drop shippers. You also have drop shippers from Central America. In this case, my case, for example, I'm from Nicaragua. You have people from the States. But again, normally, at least over, I'm just making this number up, but at least over 80% of drop shippers that I've seen so far are based on Europe. Okay, so I just want you guys to know that. Okay, so now we have the product here. We know that it's a very good product, 14 sales made overall, uh, in which uh, five sales were actually made so far in the past month. So I found the same item by using Alley Tools. Uh, by one ha Once I have it installed, I just go over the image and you can see here, this magnifying glass. Just go ahead, it says find on AliExpress. As simple as that, it sends the image, analyzes the image, and then looks for the same product or at least something similar uh, on AliExpress. It quickly shows you the different sellers that offer the same item, okay? So you can sort either by cheap or by popular. I normally try to see if I can find something cheap, but so when you go cheap, you find different products. Um, just, so I just do it without sort sorting if I don't find the same product at a cheaper price. 
And over here, I just want you guys to quickly know that when it comes to analyzing a supplier, which I'm gonna go ahead and quickly show you guys how I do that, meaning a seller, um, the first thing I want you guys to know, moreover, or m for me, most important besides the price, is that it has to have, this seller has to have over 10 orders. Why? Because the more orders the seller has, the more feedback rate, the more reviews, and the way you can analyze if that seller who you're going to choose to source from is in fact a good seller, right? Because you want to choose some sort of reliability and you want to ensure that you're providing a good service overall to your client. Remember, you will place the order once you get the, once somebody purchases your product from your store, you then go ahead and place the same order to your sourcing website, okay? As you were as as you were the client who is purchasing it, purchasing it, and then you just go ahead and send it over to your client's uh, address. That that's basically it, okay? So again, over ten orders is fine, and in this case, I chose this one right here. This one has six, so they, it would be this one. Uh, this one has eight reviews, pretty good, and the sixteen orders so so far. Then, so when it comes to analyzing a supplier, keep in mind that you need to analyze three things at the beginning. Orders, right? Reviews, you can read them and see, okay, is this person actually providing a good service? Okay, so far so good, perfect, very similar, the image, perfect, awesome. Okay, so obviously you have some sort of negative feedback, but at least for the majority, they have somewhat decent feedback for this seller. And lastly, you want to figure out how good is a product. So out of 16 orders, made by different clients they have given this uh, a a 4.5 star rating 62 percent of the uh, buyers have given this a full five star rating so okay if you find a product that has at least 4.5 to more star rating that would give you some quality assurance on the product that would mean that the product is good right so that's the first step the second step is heading over to this side here on the upper side of the page so you can see here positive feedback rate so over here this is based upon the seller metrics and the seller performance overall on aliexpress right so and you have the, as and you as a seller on ebay you have this as well by the way so this is upon three main metrics you have item as a scribe right that would mean that the seller is providing the same product that is that he or she is showcasing on and describing on the products page communication this means how good uh, how good the communication would be between the seller and the buyer and how good is the customer service overall and shipping speed is out of these um, shipping methods offered are they fast enough are they are, are they good so as you can see they all of these metrics are pretty pretty much in place uh, for this seller all of them are green and all of them are above 4.5 and it's that's above average pretty good giving him or her a total positive feedback rate of 96.3 that would be great so you know that this seller is reliable now another thing you want i want you guys to notice is this uh, the, this is the, the third step of analyzing a supplier is you want to ensure that that supplier has some sort of business policy to guarantee uh, or ensure the client some reli reliability, right? So in your case, you want to have a return return policy in your store. You want to have a good shipping policy, and you want to tell the client, hey, if you don't receive the 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 product on time on the shipping and handling time that I give out on my page on my store, or if you don't receive the item at all, or you receive the item damage for that matter, you can st you can claim that you can return the product and you can get reimbursed. Obviously. From a seller seller standpoint, that's not optimal, but you need to insure your client, and that's what eBay wants you to do. So that the same thing goes when you choose a, a supplier or a different seller. So at least this seller has 70, 75 day buyer protection money back guarantee. So that's good. As long as this seller ha or a seller that you choose has some sort of business policies placed down on the products page, you're golden. And lastly, um, when you have the Ali tools installed. Ally Tools gives an additional service of rating the seller, as called seller rating, right? So based upon what Ally, Tool, Ally Tools gathers, the information or data that gathers from the seller on the products page, it will shoot you some sort of percentage. In this case, since they don't have, the seller hasn't sold many products yet, this would be maybe, maybe this seller is new, is a new coming seller. Uh, so as you guys can see, only 16 orders and the, and when it comes to Ali, Ali Tools, what it does is it reviews the whole store. 
So again, the seller maybe doesn't have enough experience. Uh, that is why the uh, seller rating based upon Alley Tools is super low. However, that does not mean that the seller is not good. It is. This is based upon your, let's say, you choose, right? You, you have to weigh in your options, your pros and cons, and take some risk. In my case, I would take it. Uh, it, it because yes, um, unfortunately, it doesn't have enough items that has been sold so far. Therefore, thirty-nine percent sell rating by Alley Tools, uh, an external source. But it does give out good, good, positive feedback rate uh, in a decent amount, a decent price, and so on and so forth. Okay, once you've done all that, now it's time for us to figure out which is the best variation that we can sell and source. So in this case, we want to look for the cheapest option. Um, so let me give you a quick tip when it comes to products like these right let's say clothing apparels normally uh what i normally see is i want to see the tendency or the purchase tendency right so head over again to the transaction table on ebay and the reason i do this is because i want to figure out what is the most or the variation that was sold the most overall so we he we have here xl x uh, xs ll ML. So there's a lot of variation. There, like there's no tendency upon this. But so when this happens, so for example, if you see here that 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 at least more than five times the size L was has been sold in the past, let's say two months, then you know that people are looking for the size L. So that's give you some sort of idea that you can source the same item in the same variation or the same size. In this case, it's all over the place. But for me, I'm, since at least the last two purchases were made on the L size, then for me, that would be, again, a, a good indicator for me to source item. Again, this is up to you. You can do that as well. But you can even source a full, you can even source all the sizes as well. Like this uh, seller right here. This seller is offering uh, a lot of, so L, M, S, X, L, and all the way to a triple X, L. So you can do the same thing. You can offer the same thing if you want, or you can stick just to one variation. That is, uh, that, that is something I will leave for just another video on how to properly source products using our software called DSM tool. So in this case, I just want to figure out what's the, what's the price to trying to figure out what's the potential profit on, let's say an L. Uh, okay. So we had $12 for a color black. If we choose L and then we choose black here is 1910 pound sterling we'll go ahead and uh, this is by the way again this is just for the purpose to try to figure out what would be our potential earnings if we choose to source an item so we got 26 bucks if we convert it right so now let me go ahead and quickly show you guys how to use the dsm tool calculator that is very straightforward so in this case all uh, ebay price we're going to put down the ebay price in usd um from the seller, so 26.14, right? 26.14, that would be 19, 10 pounds sterling. So we got that, and the cost of the product on the sourcing website is 12.60, so it's 12.60. And the shipping, okay, now it's time for us to go ahead and do the shipping. So I normally choose AliExpress Center Shipping or ePacket be because they're somewhat faster they're reliable and they're the cheapest option when it comes to AliExpress, right? And you want to ship it all the way to the U.S. So uh, I'll choose obviously the ship the the lower option, and also they give you a tracking number. This is super important when it comes to uploading your uh, the product. You need to upload a valid tracking number, and that way you can also have more control and you can see where the package is going, and also your client can see that as well, or you can let know your client where the package is going and the status of it. So we apply it, and now we have one. 1.31 dollars that would be the shipping fee 1.31 and boom there you got so this seller oh and uh 14 sales made so far okay so this seller right um might be earning 8.95 dollars so far okay just want you to know that so what you do is obviously you want to compete against this seller in this case you want to sell in usd obviously but again uh you want to be cheaper so i would suggest you to lower the, the the price you can lower the price for a couple of cents for a dollar doesn't matter as long as you're cheaper so let's do it for 26 dollars and you can still have 8.83 uh you can do it for 19 sorry for 20 dollars if you like oh sorry 
20 there you go and you can still have some sort of profit now obviously you want to maximize your profit so don't go too cheap um but yeah so that is pretty much it that's what you do this is again this is very straightforward uh and this is what you analyze so again guys you can click on the description down below get all these products keep in mind that i am updating these items every single week only for aliexpress specifically for beginners uh i'll be doing in the future videos sourcing from amazon walmart and so on and so forth but for now only aliexpress again i appreciate your time 20 minutes on the dot uh thank you so much if you like the video if you found it somewhat informative please hit the like button subscribe and uh hit the notification bell button to be notified every single time we go live thank you so much guys see you on the next one